Hey guys, Trenton with Hall's God Diecast News here, and I just did the 2023 Hot Wheels uh, K case unboxing, and right on its heels, that was just a few days ago, we've got the L case. So the L case came out right behind the K case. We're gonna crack this one open and see what's inside. First up, we have the Bricking Speed, one of those Lego cars in red, and the Lotus Amira. I think this might be a new color on that one. It's kind of a metal flake silver, dark gray from the Factory Fresh series. And then the Mock It Go. From the Hot Wheels Track Champ series, this is a uh, this is a red tint color. It's got a yellow base. Here is the Rescue Duty in blue and white. It's from the Hot Wheels Rescue series. Animal Rescue. It says on the side. And the Mod Speeder. We've seen that one in previous cases. And an orange Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. And then we've got a Fast and Furious new model. It's the tuned 94 Toyota Supra in orange. There it is, Fast and Furious. So the tuned version, it's got those exaggerated features, big spoiler on the back, the tuned Supra, and for some reason that one will be popular. There's the Volvo P1800 Gasser from the Hot Wheels, or sorry, Hot Wheels Dream Garage series there. It's the gasser. Speaking of gasser, I got gas for $1.49 yesterday. Y'all will not believe that. $1.49. Where'd I get it? Taco Bell. Here's the Dodge Viper RT10 from the Hot Wheels Roadster series in purple. We saw that one in the K case, as well as this one. It's the Mazda. 787B in red. There's another holdover. It is the Ford Mustang Mach E 1400 in blue. And a red BMW 507. Now, this was a, is a new one for this case. It's not a new model, it came out last year, I believe. But this is a new color. This is the second color for this year. It's the coupe clip. It's the one that you can use as a keychain. There it is. There's the hole in the back. You can clip it on there. It doesn't actually have wheels. This time it's blue and red with some white and green stripes on it. Limited grip. That's a new model that we saw in the last case. It says Black Widow exhaust there on the side. Mad Fast from the Drag Strip series. And that one is the regular treasure hunt. You see the Circle Flame logo there on the card behind it. And then you see it right there on the front, right behind the nose of the car there. And then we have a 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. It says Mike's Transmissions there on the side. El Segundo Cyclone. Now, this one is 
new to mainlines, but it's not actually a new model, but this is the first time we're seeing it in mainlines. You may have seen it on the Team Transport, uh, among other series, as well as uh, this is the drag strip demons from a few years ago. Uh, where's the year on this? It says 2018 there. Uh, drag strip demons from 2018. I had this one on hand, so I figured I'd show you this one 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Uh, so, not a new model, uh, but one you may recognize if you paid attention to some of the other lines. But there it is again. And I forgot to add, this one is the super treasure hunt for this set. Uh, this one in, I'm holding in my hand is not a super treasure hunt, but if you find it with Spectra Flame paint and real rider wheels, you have found a treasure hunt. So keep an eye out for that one. Uh, this is the bricking speed. Now, if you're watching this video when I first put it out, you may not find this one on shelves yet. It's probably going to be a couple of weeks or more before it hits your... Uh, before it hits your main retail stores like Walmart and Target, all of that. There's the surf and turf. But if you are lucky enough to be in the San Antonio area, check out Diecast Republic. Uh, they have these in stock right now. Here's the Hot Wheels Papa Wheelie. I believe we saw that one in the K case as well. And there's 72 Stingray convertible Corvette new color on that and here's a new color on the 73 Honda Civic custom this time it's orange it's got black racing stripes with that little yellow stripe down the middle um, this is a 2023 new model we did see a, a different color on it previously so that's a recolor. And then there's the Corvette C7 Z06. And a 69 Shelby GT500. This was used for the Super Treasure Hunt in the K case. We also saw this one in the K case. It's the 83 Chevy Silverado. So I'm glad this one is showing up again in the L case. It's a holdover. Definitely a popular casting. BMW 507 again. And there's the El Segundo Coupe we saw in the K case. The Dune Crusher. And an 87 Dodge D100 in pink. Metal flank pink. Magenta, maybe. There's the Nissan Leaf Nismo RCO2. New color on that one. And from the Hot Wheels Track Champ series, it's Roland Solo. Alright, and we got a new color on the Batmobile. This was the uh, this was the Batmobile from the 1989 TV show. And uh, this one is from the new Flash movie, which features the 1989 Batman. Michael Keaton, he makes a return in the Flash movie, as well as Ben Affleck. So you've got multiple Batmans in the new Flash movie. All right, and here's the Dodge Viper RT-10. I think Michael Keaton's return as Batman was the best thing about that movie. 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser in light blue. There's the Mock It Go again. And the Automobili Pinafrina Batista. We saw that in the K case. And the Erickenstein rod from the Hot Wheels 55 race team featuring the white Team Hot Wheels graphics. White with a little bit of blue and a little bit of orange there. 
All right, that's the first half of the case. Let's find out what we get in the second half. Oh, we got a new model. It's the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Buzz. So this is Hot Wheels Green Speed, an EV Volkswagen bus. So the Volkswagen bus is returning. The Mazda 787B. Another Bel Air Gasser. And the Aston Martin Vantage GTE in white. There's another Stingray convertible. And the Jackhammer. There's a really front, interesting front end on that. Seems like it's been a while since we've seen this one in the main lines. Oh, there's another Batmobile in white. And another Batista. Here's a new color on the Koenigsegg Gamera from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series, this time in yellow. And this is a new model. It is the Trouble Decker. Play on words there from Double Decker. This is the Trouble Decker. It is a hot rotted version of one of those Double Decker buses. Guess this would be like a London double decker bus. You see a uh, little piece of the British flag there on the tail. You see the pipes coming out the side. I think I have to do an individual review on this one. Uh, just did the Barbie car, which I see in the case right back there, I believe. Um, so check that one out if you haven't seen it, but uh, I need to do some more individual reviews. We're gonna get back to doing that. And this one's gotta be on the list. The Trouble Decker, new model for 2023. Here's a new color on the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. This is the one that won the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. This time in purple, purple metal flake. And another new model, it's the Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0. And this one is debuting some new wheels. It's the four spoke deep dish rims if you look closely it really does have four spokes there in the middle it's kind of hard to see on this video but it's got the deep dish but in the very inside it's a black four spoke so new wheel option brick and motor in green from the brick ride series that's a whole series now it used to just be like one car Here's the power panel from the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series. There's the track manga from the art car series. New color on this one. This one has been released previously this year. It's got some manga type art. It says K on the front. There's the Roland Solo. And we get a second Supra. Very nice. Chrysler Pacifica in green. There's another El Segundo Coupe. It's the Quick Bite in green. And a new color on the DMC DeLorean from Hot Wheels the 80s. I'm loving the 80s series this year. That's the DeLorean. I love the color on that DeLorean too. Corvette C7 Z06.
83 Chevy Silverado. That's the second one in this case. We only got one per case in the K case when that came out. So now we're getting some more, which is nice. Another limited grip. Porsche Carrera RS 2.7. Dodge D100, 87 Dodge D100. Oh, we get a second Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo new model there. And it's an 07 Ford Mustang with Falcon graphics in the Falcon colors there. It's from the Then and Now series. I like that one. And then I told you we had the Barbie car. It's the 1956 Corvette from the Screen Time series from Barbie the movie. Uh, like I said, I uh, did an individual review of that one, so go check that one out. Here's Ford Mustang Mach E 1400. And the Lolux, new color on that. White this time. And new colors on the Toyota Land Cruiser 80. From the Then and Now series. This has got like some classic 70s or 80s colors on it there. I like those colors there. Kind of off-white. And then you've got the black, black, brown, orange, yellow stripes there. Mod Speeder. The drone duty. Another Batmobile. I believe that's the third one. And here's one we haven't seen in this case yet. It's the 10 Camaro SS from the Hot Wheels Rescue series in orange with Fire, Ch Fire Chief graphics there. Hot Wheels Fire Department. All right, let's check out the highlights from the L case. I'm gonna start out with one that's not a new model. This is the Batmobile. Uh, just such a cool color on that. The black, I mean, sorry, the white with black stripes and the purple windows and wheels. Just goes so well together from the new Flash movie. And then we've got a new model here, the Trouble Decker. It's a really cool fantasy casting. Love that one. Hot rodded, double decker bus. Not exactly a new model, but first time in the main lines. And it's the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. It's a gasser version of that Mercury Comet. And then we've got the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Yellow, little white stripe, and a black top on it. And the Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0. Another new model featuring those new wheels, deep dish four spokes from the Retro Racer series. And finally, last but not least, it's a 94 Toyota Supra, a tuned version of the Supra. Okay, so. I want to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know uh, what was your favorite and which castings would you like me to review individually? Uh, so I'm gonna to try to get back into the habit of that reviewing individual castings. Which ones do you want to see? And it doesn't have to be new models. Of course, I will do my best to try to cover all of the new models uh, on those individual reviews. But I also want to hear from you on some of the older uh, recolors, which ones you want to see. Anyways, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you next time on Hall's Guy Diecast News.